Alright, so um, we actually... We set up most of the um, boss stuff sort of unintentionally the first time we were in this area. Pretty much, um, we took care of everything except walking back in and placing the Ankh Jewel. So, let's place the Ankh Jewel. And it's, a uh, boat ride time. And here we have Guardian number four, Bahamut. Ow. So yeah, um, before Final Fantasy and other video games got a hold of the character Bahamut, he was a giant fish <laughs> in the earliest mythologies that he appeared in. He was, in fact, a giant fish. And so that is the uh, way that this particular game depicts him. I should have taken a healing fairy, but we should be okay. You know, considering we have save states and all. And I missed the wave. We can still get one good hit in. No, we don't need to be hit by that. There! Four guardians dead. Four to go! And just as, uh, just as we finish the battle, our fairy is, uh, out of time. And now we're back here on the surface. Bird's already trying to, uh, attack our apparently dead corpse. But no. You get nothing, birds. I get more health! Woohoo! And with that... A few things, actually a lot of things, <laughs> have opened up. Now, well, let's see, where do we actually want to go? Well, actually, we do want to go up here. Come here, bird. And as you can see by the meter, we are actually getting pretty close to having full health. I think it's going to be uh, somewhere in the 400 or no, no, uh, 300 range. So, now that we have defeated four guardians, we can go and buy a better laptop! Because that's what um, <laughs> exploring ruins is all about, having better technology. And falling on our ass. That is not the laptop store. That is also not the laptop store. <laughs> Which of these many stores has laptops for sale? I am in the market to upgrade. Yay! And with that, I hit the wrong button. We have doubled our available memory. So we can uh, now start to use combinations. Let me get the, um, let's see, that's a thing we want to do, that's, that we'll need, that we need, and that we need. Alright, so, uh, that I don't have yet, that I don't care about, that's not necessary, blah, 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 blah. death, V and move, don't have move. Ran C and Makuri. Well, well. Equipping both of those 
increases the power of the knife, the axe, the keysword, and the katana, which I only have two of those for, for right now, but that's okay, by uh, two points of damage, which in this game is a freaking lot. That's the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. So, let's see, that I don't have yet. Okay. So then, let's see. <laughs> bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. I hate this part of the game. Oh, dear. It's time to enter Eden. I wonder, can I get into... The things this game makes you say, can I get into the mother yet? Uh, hmm. Entrances from Twin Labyrinths, no. And this corridor, no. Chamber of Extinction, no. And then this corridor, no. Okay. That is off limits. So, yeah. Time to go to Temple of the Moonlight. Right. But yeah, basically the um the axe normally deals five damage, but you know, now it deals seven damage. Uh, the, uh, the knife normally deals three, now deals five. And I believe our flail whip, or, uh, chain whip, rather, also deals three. And we need to find the scannable things, let's see. Alright, so we gotta go all the way down there, down there. That over there. And the thing way up in the corner, which I should have done first. So instead, we'll do it last. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. Let's try that again. Much better. Now I just gotta wait for Pyramid Point. And this is a thing that they did intentionally, very intentionally. And, um, again, this is a thing if you have watched, um, it's called their, um... Let's see, there is it. If you have watched The Da Vinci Code and seen, um... Ian McKellen explaining the blade and the chalice, you know why there is a pyramid and an inverted pyramid here for the temples of sunlight and moonlight. Basically, the pyramid is the blade, which is the symbol for man, and it is the most basic phallus. It is, you know, just a point, uh, a, an upwards-facing point. It's a dude's dick. Whereas the chalice is the inverted version of that, symbol of the woman, the, uh, yeah, symbol of the vagina. So well, that's why we have the Pyramid for Man in the Temple of Sunlight, and the Inverted One for the Woman, the Temple of Moonlight. And those will both come into play in puzzles later on. Essentially, not, not, not even essentially, literally, we have to make a statue pregnant. We get a woman statue and have to change it to the maternity statue. And let's see, we need... Okay. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. How do I get to that? Hmm. Yeah, okay, uh, so much for backups. Alright, so then. 
go up this way. down here then. There's number two. And why not? Let's pick up a um, healing fairy while we're here. Alright, so that's three of the four already. the, uh, things that we need up there. Just one more to go. It's a good thing I maxed out the amount of, uh, weights that I had. I did go ahead and buy all of those as well. And, yes, that is the way we're going to go in just a minute or so. Basically, we have one more s puzzle to solve, and then it is time for Eden. And yeah, the things that I just did there, the um, four white spots that you saw up here there, they are spots in the Temple of the Moonlight, which you are told to scan by, you know, tablets like that one up top there which are scattered throughout the entire game. And I missed one. Where did... which one did I miss? Oh. <laughs> and so, there's spot number four. I can manage to... that's not gonna work. <laughs> There. Oh, yeah, right. Looks like one way or another we're gonna end up back down. Back down into this particular pit again, so let's go over here and then go over here. So yeah, um, pretty much solving this puzzle without a guide is very much a thing you're only going to be able to do if you are, in fact, reading every single one of the stone tablets that you see. And I mean, if you're not, you're really doing a very bad job of playing the game in the first place if you're trying to figure out the things on your own, but it uh, just reinforces how necessary it is. And let's see. We now want to do them open these up in a particular order. And, um, I don't know how you reset this puzzle if you get the order wrong. So again, it's a question of trial and error. Oh, you just leave and come back. Okay, that's not as bad then. There are a number of puzzles in this game which have one and exactly one way to reset, and it can only be reset almost at the end of the game. Basically, you find what is called the Gate of Time, and you beseech a uh, sort of head fairy over there in this uh, special area, and anything other than that cannot reset the puzzles. So, here we are! We are in Eden! Looks glorious, doesn't it? Too bad, it's actually the Gate of Illusion. And 
as bad uh, as the rest of the game is in terms of obtuse and hard to figure out puzzles, difficult enemies, maze-like areas, this is the area that, um, it says, yeah, a hi casual players, you're gonna stop playing now. Um, you're, you're not gonna be able to get through this area, it, it, it is two giant middle fingers and an extra middle finger grafted onto the forehead of the developer. I am going to be following the guide for this area to the letter because we have big giant paragraphs each for the maze part one, the maze part two, the six dioceses, the unreachable ladder, reaching the grail tablet, stop the sacrifices, showdown with Chiyu, the key to life, and the upside down door. Yeah. <laughs> that is true, Spiffy, although apparently uh, the um, La Mulana EX version, that's uh, the, the version they released on the PlayStation Vita, that actually allows you to go to that same ferry you can besiege to um, undo those certain puzzles that you can't undo in any other way, you can besiege her to turn off hard mode. Although again, you can only get to her at almost the end of the game, so it kind of begs the question of, once you reach that point, playing through hard mode, why ask her to turn off hard mode? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I really, really need a map. When am I gonna get a map? When the hell am I gonna get a map? <laughs> Um, map, map location D5. Oh, getting the map is another puzzle that wasn't listed with the rest of the puzzles. <laughs> Alright, so... Also, I'm actually going to, um... Dictionary.com. What is the frickin' proper pronunciation? Deus, Dias, they're both correct. Okay. Doesn't matter which way I say it. Always fun when it works out in that fashion. Okay, I'm actually gonna have two uh, of this page open so that I don't need to keep switching back and forth. Uh, not, not even switching, scrolling up and down between the map and the walkthrough. Alright, so, we start at E5, yes, that is the room up and to the left of here, okay. Alright, so that. Yeah, let me guess, this is an email saying, yeah, hi, you're fucked. You'd think there's nothing there, and then all of a sudden you find yourself on a strange path. It's just a story I heard in the village. But it looks like a dead end might actually warp you to another place. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. A lot of the air, the, the uh, getting through this um, particular section of puzzles here in this area is literally walking into dead ends and being warped to other places, other areas in the map. Alright, so we are here in E5. Okay, so we climb up, we read this. One fool believed in his foolishness that he was a wise man. The fool flaunted his shallow wisdom and made decisions with a narrow mind. He proceeded to the right without hesitation. Another fool possessed wisdom, but his knowledge led him to believe he was a fool fool who smothers himself without first considering the situation. He went with the flow and proceeded to the left. 
one can only hope that a true wise man stands here now. So, here's the thing. If you go right, you end up in a loop that takes you right back here. If you go left, you end up in a loop that takes you right back here. What you're supposed to do is scan the blue light. Which gives you... A <laughs> it gives you a thing like that there. And the key to that is the fact that this blue light, unlike, say, those blue lights, is that this blue light is not flickering, it's just kind of solid. That's your clue. Okay, so... Thy understanding is impressive, wise one. Be thee a wise man or a fool. That action shall reveal the truth, in hopes that thou art a true wise man. Funny you mention that, that is actually a puzzle a little bit later on, Spiffy. <laughs> Okay, so... Here's a warp. And let's see... I don't think we can get to the map quite yet. So let's double check around real quick. This high lizard thing. Don't care right now. That evidently did something good. Next, let me read the math thing real quick. Yeah, okay. That's now opened up. No. <laughs> Both routes lead to the same place. Alright, so then. That opens up that. And <laughs> here's the funny part. Can we get to it from here? We can. Groovy. Here's the funny part. You think, hooray, I've opened up a chest, and I will get a nice thing, but instead, you get an explosion. Why is it? Okay, now we have the map, so... That at least helps a tiny, tiny bit. And I have to go all the way around back here. Due to the, um, oh, right. I have to do this without whipping near the chest. There. Oh, hey, it is Zeta time. So. Can I open these up? Nope. Alright, since we just solved a puzzle and, uh, essentially are just now beginning this area. This is a good stopping point. We had we're like halfway through the first of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight massive puzzles in the area. So we will continue on with that at some point later. <laughs>